Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be seeing about square instruction. Okay. So basically, it is used to square any value. Similarly, we'll be also seeing about square root. Okay. So in order to find out the square root of any value, we can use square root. Then we'll be seeing this natural log function. Okay. Natural logarithm function and then exponential function. So all these four functions we'll be seeing in this lecture. So let us apply square instruction first so here i will be making some tags so basically i'll use one tag here that is input so basically we can give it as uh, yeah input right and then we'll be giving one more input that is uh, uh, the value which we need to square okay so basically suppose it is a memory double word right so basically we can take it as real value right so i am taking it as input to the function input value okay and uh, this will be a real in correct uh, real data type right so it will be in the real data type and here we will be using md0 as the address okay similarly the output will also be in the it will be a result okay and it will be in the form of real only okay now let us take uh, all the requirements so i'll be taking one no here okay so this will be no and we'll be taking this square root function here okay and then we'll be observing what is going to happen so i'm taking it as uh input right so it is an input i0.0 .0. and then i will be taking it as real and input right so input value actually okay and then we'll be taking it as result okay so this will be the result right so now let me download this one okay i am downloading this one okay and then we'll be going into the online mode so here what will happen is whatever value we are giving at this where uh, input right md0 it will be converted to its square right so whatever value will be giving here that will be converted to its square right so i am going to the online mode now after going to online mode i'll start monitoring the logic i'll do it like this now here uh, basically there might be some value uh, let us first of all will be taking it as floating point number okay and let us uh, change the value here suppose we are giving it as 4.0 okay so basically 4.0 means what it is a 4 value right so when we are giving 4 then the result should be 4.0 to the power 2 that is will be squaring it and the output will be 16 so i am deleting this previous tags and will be taking the required input okay so here basically this instruction will be there okay and uh, i am taking it as and i am turning it on so if you are able to observe this is when you are pressing this input right so when you are activating this input the value is converted to its square right similarly you can give any of the values and correspondingly we will be getting the output right so now what we'll do is we'll change this now what we'll do is we'll again use another function here that is square root okay so what we'll do is i'll just simply convert it to sqrt okay and now again i'll download the same now what will happen is it will be automatically giving us the value uh, that is the square root of that value input right input 
square root of the input will be getting right so after downloading let me go into the online mode and then monitor the logic so here if you are able to observe what is happening we are given we are giving it 4 then it is producing 2.0 right similarly when you are giving some other value for example 3 okay so it is giving it as 1 for 1.73 in this way right now suppose if you are giving it as 256 or any value 144 let us give so automatically it will convert it to 12 because 12 to the power 2 is 144 right so in this way we are using this square function now let us use the exponential function here basically uh, we will be seeing this natural log first and then we will be applying okay exponential function right so i am going in the offline mode again and i'll be converting this instruction to the exponential okay now i am giving uh, i'll be giving some value here and correspondingly we'll be getting the exponent here okay so what is happening is let us observe what is going to happen so i am downloading it again okay so here what will happen whatever value we are giving at this input its exponent form will be uh, present at this address okay so md0 will contain the result right so let me download this and go to the online mode okay and then we'll be monitoring the logic okay so here if you are able to observe there is value some value here let me change it to some 8 or some 4 right so i am giving it as 4 so what is this value 5 uh, 54.59815 so basically what is happening e to the power 4 what is the value First, 5 54.59 Five, nine, right so the same thing we can observe in the calculator also let me use the calculator okay so here we are having this exponent function right so you can take it as mm -hmm, this value okay so we are using uh, this e to the power so basically what is the value of e 2 to the uh, 2.718 right so what we'll do is just uh, to uh, to this power e to the power whatever value we have, we have given that is 4 right so what will be the result 54.598 right so in this way this is also converting the same value right so now what we'll do is we'll be applying the natural log okay so this is our exponent function okay and then we'll be using this natural log that is ln function here okay i'll convert this to an ln okay i'll convert this to ln okay and we'll be going into the offline mode okay i'll convert this to ln and then we'll be see or how to uh, we'll be downloading it and we'll be observing what is going to happen okay now see the value of ln 4.0 is 1.33 the same th value we can observe here also using the calculator right so uh, what we'll do is so suppose what we are giving is uh, 4 right and we are producing the login natural natural log so basically this is the value okay so 1.3862 is the value right so in this way we are using this natural log instruction okay so we have covered all these four instructions that is square sqrt that is a square root and then uh, exponent and then this natural log so in the next lecture we'll be seeing about all these trigonometric functions right